In the Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye DLC, you come across a dark shadow which blocks out the sun. This is the Stranger, a massive space station the size of a planet which is contained within a cloaking field. I recently made a video showing that when you enter the pocket dimensions inside of Dark Bramble, the game teleports you into a giant black sphere under the solar system that contains the interior. It looks pretty similar to the Stranger as it blocks out the sun, right? I wanted to talk a bit about the differences between these two locations. Both are sort of lurking in the solar system, hidden in darkness. The main difference between them is that one is diegetic and the other is not. So the term diegetic is mostly used when talking about music. It means something which is actually happening within the world of a film, TV show, or game. For instance, if we visit Rybeck on Brittle Hollow, we can listen to them play their banjo. This is a diegetic sound effect. The characters in the game world are meant to be hearing this music. Not all of the music in the game is like this though. End Times is the track that plays as the time loop is about to run out, which culminates in the sun exploding. This is a non-diegetic sound. The characters in the game aren't all suddenly looking around trying to figure out where this song is coming from. The music is for the player. It's not meant to actually exist inside the world of the game. Applying this to the stranger in Dark Bramble, the stranger being hidden away is diegetic. The explanation being that its inhabitants created it to have a cloaking field to hide it from prying eyes. The story thread which leads the player to discover it involves finding an image of the solar system where the stranger is blocking out the sun and then going off in search of it. Meanwhile, the giant black sphere containing the interior dark bramble is non-diegetic. It's not meant to exist in the world and is just a byproduct of how the level is created. This is why there's no plot thread involving the player trying to discover the mystery of the giant black sphere in the sky. The story and its characters never acknowledge its existence. Some commenters have asked me why it is that Dark Bramble has this very visible black sphere around it when the stranger doesn't. I believe this is because of your scout. If you leave your scout behind you in Dark Bramble, you can take pictures of the inside, meaning that the inside has to keep rendering. They put a dark sphere around it to hide the fact that it's still rendering the inside. For the stranger, if you leave your scout inside it, you can't take pictures anymore, and instead get nothing but static. The in-game explanation for this is that it's a side effect of the cloaking field. It also has the added benefit of allowing the game to stop rendering the stranger, so they don't need to resort to any tricks to hide it. Thanks for watching. I thought it was interesting to see how these two very different locations, a cloaked space station and a pocket dimension, both ended up looking so similar in the game as being these dark spheres capable of blocking out the sun, even when one of the two isn't even meant to exist in the actual game world. If you want to see more videos like this, consider liking and subscribing and doing whatever. I'll probably make one on the quantum moon next. It's kind of interesting how they handle it when it's at its sixth location. Okay, bye.